Hi, welcome back. So today we are going to be talking about our uh, V60 iced coffee recipe. Now, um, this is for black filter coffee. It is really delicious and we feel that it brings out the best of a lot of different coffees. Um, it's also very simple and you don't need a whole lot of uh, expensive equipment to replicate this at home. Great, so I've got 20 grams of beans here. I'm gonna use a little spritz of water. I have my Commandante grinder set at 22 clicks. And I'm just gonna load this up and grind it very quickly. Oops, here we are. Okay, so we're gonna be using the Cafec Medium uh, roast profile filters. Now these are available on our website in the 40 or the 100 pack. So I'm just gonna take one out. And like all of our uh, other recipes, we need to pre-wet this filter. So first thing, just like the uh, traditional V60 recipe that I'll have linked, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna first identify which way that we brew. So if we're going around this way, we're gonna want this paper folded towards or in the opposite uh, direction that you'll be pouring in. I'll show you what I mean. So I'm just gonna fold it this way. Give it a quick little pinch, drop it in and it's done. Start at the fold and go around. So now this pre-wets and preheats your filter. And because we're brewing hot, that's gonna be important too. Make sure all the water has dripped through and let's get rid of this water. So the way we're gonna set this up is we're gonna have our carafe with the 150 grams of ice sitting at the bottom. You can brew hot and then pour that hot coffee over the ice. It doesn't really matter. Um, essentially, that's what we will be uh, doing but in this format, just so it's easy to view. Uh, this is also the easier way, just because there's like less glass involved. So the first thing we're gonna do, we are going to take out our 20 grams of coffee. I'll have a picture showing you exactly how coarse that is. We're gonna tear that out, give it a quick tap and a little, create a little divot. We've got our water at 95 degrees and we're gonna start with our bloom. So the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna start our timer and we're gonna pour in 50 grams of water. Starting in that little divot, making our way out, making sure that everything is wet. And when we get to that 50 grams, stop pouring and give it a generous swirl. So now we're gonna go in um, at 45 seconds. We're gonna wait for that to completely draw down and then we're gonna start with our uh, first pour of 100 grams of water. Cool, we're at 45 seconds and we're gonna start from the center and just slowly covering all those dark spots. Try to slow it down, 100 grams. Let's just stop there, give it a quick little spin. Wait for it to come down a little bit. And we're gonna go in with that secondary 50 grams. Covering all of the dark spots and we're done. Awesome. Give it a quick little swirl and let it draw down completely. Now, as you can see, there are there is starting to be that tiny little bit of uh, coffee grind sitting at the wall. So in the event that that happens, that's completely fine. Just give it a little swirl, final little bit of agitation and let it draw down completely. Um, we want this to uh, take the longest out of the entire brew method. So we've got 45 seconds at the start. If we can push this uh, from our first pour to our uh, final draw down, if we can extend that for as long as possible, that's the goal, um, without it being, without having to use too fine coffee. Right, so we're gonna have that all the way 
come down, we're going to see that bed start to appear. And if it's nice and flat, then it's been a great even extraction. So we're going to have a concentrated coffee at the top. That's why we're brewing with less water. We are also using finer coffee and the filter papers. So that's just stopped now at three minutes. That's done. I've got my little lid for the carafe, which is super handy. Lift it up and that will take any drips away and I'll throw this out. And here we have it. Three minutes. Delicious looking coffee. This is a Colombian natural from El Parch Coffee. Make sure to give it a nice swirl. Everything is chilled out, combined. Let it sit for a little bit if you have to. And there we go. I'm gonna go enjoy this. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next video. And if you have any questions at all, feel free to leave a comment down below. Have a great day and we'll see you next time.